Hey friends, I'm Joe Espresso and welcome to Gods of Sand. This is a game much like a game that I used to like a, a lot called Swords and Sandals Gladiator. Uh, it used to be a Flash game years and years ago. Um, but this game just came out on Steam, just released to Early Access. This is their very first version of it. Now, I kept this up just so we could see that this is still very much a work in progress, but I wanted to get right in and show you what it's all about. I haven't played it all, um, but I, I kind of have an idea of what to expect based on the Flash game that was out years and years ago. Um, and it was a lot of fun. I spent hours playing that Flash game. I wasn't very good at it, but I enjoyed it. Stepping out from your chariot, you're greeted by the wooden doors of an old abandoned building. This is the Ludus you inherited from your uncle. With this sight, you think about the feasts and friendships you'll miss from the capital, but maybe this is for the best. Maybe you'll learn the hard way how to run a business, as your family expects by sending you here. Near the main gate, an elder figure looks at you impatiently. Come on, kiddo. I ain't got all day, he shouts. As you approach, he says, Tell your father this is the last favor I'll do him. I already gave my last coins to your damn family. Tomorrow, I'll be done, gone for good. He states as clearly as he can. The man continues, let me show you around this dump and you'll be calling home. Let me show you around this dump you'll be calling home. Come on. He says while forcing his way through the jammed gate. And here it is, huh? Not as fancy as I remember. Okay. Looks empty, right? You're lucky people didn't steal the bricks, too. Well, you can't do much with just walls. You don't look like you want to get your hands dirty, so I suggest you get someone to do the hard work here. Let's go to the city and get you a man. Follow me. Click the scale icon to visit the city. Leave Ludus and visit the city? Yeah. And here we are. Let me introduce you you to some interesting people. You'll see the burly lady to your right, that's Sicilla? Sicilla. The blacksmith. The one-eyed bandana is something her people wear. Don't be intimidated by that. Being the only blacksmith in the region means she sells her wares really fast. Be sure to come and check them every day. Her prices are fine as people have here have no money to spend. Now that young man on your left is Yusuf, the carpenter. It might not look like it, but he was the one that built your uncle's Ludus 40 years ago. So he's the right person to talk to if you want to make it less bad. Far in the back, you can see the temple of your people. It was built to try to convert our folk, but I don't think it worked that well. Most gladiators start their careers fighting in the temple. Some of them end their careers there too. That two-story house is a tavern where men go after the sunset to do business. They're always in need of strong gladiators to run some errands for money. You can find their requests on the quest board at your Ludus. And finally, at the heart of the market, there is the place where we're headed to. The gladiator's auction. Fit men get on top of that platform to be picked by a master like yourself and get sponsored for the rest of their career. But it's not like they have a choice. In these lands, work is scarce and many go hungry, even with all these risks, becoming a gladiator is one of the best choices around here. You'll provide them food, shelter, and some coin every week that they usually send out to their families. In exchange, they fight in your name, and to entertain the people. They keep training, fighting, and getting better. Skilled warriors fight for bigger prizes, but they will demand a larger, weaker, larger weekly payment. They do this until the day comes when they risk everything. That means when they go to the tower. Only one warrior can go at a time. Many have entered, but no one ever came out. The testament says that the peace of God awaits the men who get to the top. That's where I'm going tomorrow, but today I still have things to settle. So let's get you your man already. Okay. Gladiator market. You know what? This guy's got pretty average stats. Yeah. 
I'm gonna go with this guy. He's got a, a, a slightly higher defense. So I'll go there. We'll see how that goes. Okay, that's enough for your first day. You should leave. You're glad you're training something for the rest of the evening. Tomorrow we'll have his great debut. Open the training menu. Choose any fight staff for him to train, or don't. I'll leave it up to you. You can choose anything. Strength, agility, defense. They're all important. Oh, and you can teach your men some skills by clicking on this. This button. But you don't have the money, and I don't have the time for this now. Just close this inventory, and let's move on. Good. I'll see you tomorrow. Then your warrior might be a little stronger by then. Uh, click to open the calendar. There are no events happening this day. Click to advance to the next day. Okay. Rise and shine, boy. How do you like sleeping in a straw pile, huh? Well, today is the big day for you and me. Come on, get your man ready. We're going for your first fight. Okay. First fight of your first gladiator right in the heart of the city. We'll be able to prove his worth. But uh, I've only got one. Makes it easy, though. Okay, so this is where the combat comes in. This is a turn-based uh, combat system. I do not know what this is. So I'm going to do this. This guy is so done for. That was my final lesson for you. Your, na your naivety killed this man, and for what? So you could feed your ego? The fact is that your kind are all the same. You can see... You can only see what suits you. Take this defeat home for your family. Now if you... Now if you just settle any score with me, you can find me at the tower. I'm off. Okay. Feeling like a fool, you find yourself stunned while the blood of your gladiator runs through the sides of your sandals. Some of the crowd are also shocked, but most of them are either laughing or returning to carry on their day. You failed. You let a man die because of your naivete. Now you're you're on your own and it's time to recompense. Think about your mistakes and utilize everything you, the city can provide. You feel a cold hand on your shoulder. One of the bystanders, a tall man in a green cloak holding some sort of cane, reaches you. You look at him with unease, but the notice, you notice something in his left hand. The man awkwardly lays a small but heavy pouch in your forearm and says, my boss didn't like what they pulled up against you. These will help if you use it wisely. Maybe you heal f maybe you'll hear from him again in the future. Okay. It seems like I was set up. But also that you know, it wasn't just uh the fight like the fight got rigged, not just the guy who's supposed to be training me set me up. Okay, so I have a hundred coins and a weapon. I don't think I have any other option than to grab a another gladiator. High defense, high strength, low strength, high agility, high defense. Ah, I might actually do that. High vitality, low vitality. Look. You know what? Um. I'm gonna go with this one, and uh, and we'll train up everything else. And I don't think. Yeah, I've got a I've got a stick. These add a little bit of resilience. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this armor. It's it's pretty cheap. Not terribly worried about it. And we'll do uh
I think I'll do this as well. Because the I think the gladiator I picked has very high dex. So a dexterity based weapon is gonna be better. Let's go back. And now we train. Um Oh, I need two of those. Okay, I'll, I'll get more later. I need another cloth rag for his, his other leg. Uh, weapon, you're going to be using those. I'm going to make him a, a pugilist of sorts. Attacks and applies bleed to his opponent. Recovers max HP. Pushes his opponent back. Stuns opponent. Okay. Those are those are all skills that I can learn. We'll see. But for now, I'm gonna focus on really just doing stat training. Um that's No, I don't want Entries. Um, okay, so increases the attack power and damage of all physical skills, increases hit chance and critical hit chance and chance to land a critical kick, increases critical chance. Increases blocking chance. Increases base defense. And kick damage. Amount of hit points. Amount of stamina. Okay, so let me do hit points first. Um, what is his weekly... Yeah, weekly cost is 13. I've only got a little time to like train him up. Okay. Um I guess I guess I go to the next day. So for now, I'm just doing some endurance training for him. He just got paid fourteen gold between all your gladiators. Okay, I'll do one more day of endurance, and hopefully that'll get him to six. No, not quite. One more. <clears throat> um, so once he's at six, I'll switch him to something else. I think more strength is going to be necessary if I'm going to do anything. But hopefully that'll go up pretty quickly. Yeah, it's already to three. I think five is the minimum I want there, just to make sure he can hold his own, do damage. All right, let me look at contracts. <clears throat> a small caravan arriving from the north was attacked at a nearby road by a band of thugs. Locally, the coachman was able to escape before anything worse could happen. The job is to storm their camp without being noticed and run away with the wagon as quickly as possible. Two gangs were once again disputing over the same turf. The older one has loyal members ready to fight, but the newer one's strength is their monetary situation. Your man will be hired to fight for the newer gang. No weapons are allowed, but these gangs are not famous for respecting the rules. Um, I'm gonna go with the, ooh, ooh, oh, here we go, success 95%. Yeah, let's go with this one. I like, I like high success rate. Okay, so now he's gonna go out and do that. Hopefully not die, because if he dies, I think I just lose.
four days left on his contract. He should be getting paid, even though he's not here. And I'm out of money. That's not good. Um, the real question is, I guess his cost went up because his stats went up pretty significantly. Okay, so we should be back, I think, today? Success. Received 82 gold coins. Good, good, good. Um, so at this point, I'm not sure how I want to proceed. Resilience is base damage, or base defense, which is great, but I can kind of augment that with the armor. It's not perfect, but it, it'll do. I kind of think... I want to do maybe a skill is best. Recovers max HP and max stamina. There's a cooldown of eight turns. I'm guessing that's cooldown. Um, job and heavy job. So I'm going to go with clear cut. And ooh, the price went up. Okay, I'll go with this one as well, and then we'll go to the arena and fight. <clears throat> uh, I really wish there were tooltips here. I think this is maybe skill? Yeah. And this is items. Okay. Skill, clear cut. Uh, I'm good on, on health. Oh yeah, I've got this fight in the bag. And then I'm gonna go do the mantra, recover my stamina. Step back. I guess recover some stamina? Yeah, sure. There we go. Won the first fight. Next opponent. spot for this. Victory! 56. Renown plus one, return. Um, so the spot we're in now, I've got enough for probably a week or two, but I think it's it. Hurt for two days, has minor injuries. Okay. So while he's recovering, I wonder if I can get him to train while he's recovering. I'll assume I can and just move on to the next day. Yeah, so he gets XP even while he's recovering. How much does he get paid now? I didn't look. Fully recovered and ready to fight again. 18 gold. That's not too bad. I can deal with that. The... Hmm. I think I'll, I'll, I'll let him train resilience for a little bit. I do want... Yeah. 
32 block chance, 56 hit chance is a little low. Probably should do some agility as well. So really this game is boiling down to a stat manager of sorts. Right, it's it's got some turn-based combat for the but for the most part it's a stat builder or stat manager. And the game builds up into you have several gladiators at one time. Uh I'll get one more. I'll go up to seven. Resilience. And then we'll move on to the next stat. 20 gold. Okay, so the price is going up. Uh, what do we have for contracts? Anything that's like really high percentage completion? It's a week long, again. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Now I just gotta pass seven days. And that way he'll have money to come back and we'll train more stats and then go off to the next battle. I think this is the day he comes back. Yeah, 82 gold. Okay, so he's now at 7. Uh, having more stamina would be good. I think I'm going to train up agility a little bit, and then I'll go stamina. Weekly cost of 20. I don't need any skills for him at the moment. I will go... I'll go to the city real quick and see what we've got as far as weapons go. Okay, so we, we've got better armor. I need, I need, I need one of those because he's he's currently rocking only one of those. I like, I like this. I like this uh, this style. This is probably the better choice overall, but uh, I'll, I'll I'll save that. What is here? Ooh, training speed. Forty-three. How's an extra gladiator? Less one day to recover. Training speed, training speed, training speed, training speed. Those are all awesome. But that's something to keep in mind for when I. Get the next upgrade. Yes. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and equip him with that extra piece of armor real quick. And yeah, going for agility, we want one or two more. Probably it's all up probably need. And then start working on getting a bigger stamina bar. Okay, so we're at seven agility. I think I want one more. To put me at eight. Oh, so close. Okay, now I'm at eight. We'll do endurance so that I have more endurance or more stamina for the fight. Which I think I can be a little better about. Because um, the last time I did the bleed attack only once per fight. But it's only got a three turn cooldown. So I should be able to use it every uh, three or four turns. Which will be much better. And last one. And then I'll take another look at his stats. Okay, so we got 55 gold. Um, I'm not terribly worried about intelligence right now, just because I don't have access to magic at all. Uh, I guess I'll increase dex until 
I need to go out and do the fight again. Just because the weapons he has increases dex by 20%. So let's maximize that gain. 24 gold. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'll get to 7. Because I don't think... Yeah, we won't get to 8 before he gets paid again. Is it 7? Let's go to the arena. All right. Uh, I'm gonna wait. Go ahead and get that bleed attack off. Okay. It's only got a cooldown of two. Oh no, it's it's off for two. Yeah. If I understood that correctly, it's it's a cooldown of three. Um Oh, the bleed got him. So yeah, cooldown of three means that it's you can use it one turn and then you have to wait two turns, then you can use it again. Okay, so this guy's got a quarter staff, which means I will have to step in. I was I was worried for a second. He hit really hard. I guess he crit me. There we go. Okay. 60 gold, just like that. He's got to recover for two days, but that's not a big deal. Uh, we'll continue improving his decks. Um, actually, while we're doing that, yeah, we're going to leave the city. Or, uh, go to the city. Grab this. Pig farm is 125. Go back to Ludus. <clears throat> so we now have training dummies. And we have an idea now of the kind of scope that this goes to aim for. Right? Of how many gladiators we're going to be training. I kind of just want to focus on this one. So his weekly cost is now 27. I can only pay him for one week. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess we better get training. Okay, so he's now fully recovered. I got... I gave him 27 gold... And he now has eight decks. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and go right out to an arena again. Fight against a single gladiator, gladiator aspirant trying to make his name. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go here again. I'm hoping that the challenge didn't increase. Clear cut. The challenge might have increased. I wonder if the, uh, Ooh, that hurt. I wonder if the skills are, are count as magic. So I wonder if that's what intelligent all that is all about. Okay. Step up. Nine. Right off the bat. Ok, 
Okay, so I'll be able to use clear cut again this turn. And attack. And then I will do mantra. Clear cut. And attack. Oh, it's a third. There's a third one. Uh oh. Oh, it's him again. That's not good. Okay. Okay, we're 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 doing okay. Okay, so we'll do clear cut, and then uh, next turn we'll do mantra. And then we will hit. And that's, that's game. Check that out. We defeated the guy that killed our first gladiator. Uh, new arena unlocked. You've unleashed you've received a long torch used to perform pyrotechnics from a relatively safe distance special can attack from two tiles distant two-handed weapons give the user 20 percent strength okay so it's two-handed torch essentially interesting uh sure let's visit the city and see what the blacksmith has i'm supposed to be checking every day but you know well, you know I guess. I guess I'll sell these, buy this, and then. Instantly replenishes spiders. Stamina heals. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on those. Uh back to Ludus. Equipment. Other skirt. And he is recovering. What do I want him to work on, though? I think strength is is maybe next. Although, let me let me check something. Leading four, agility and dex, twenty percent of armor, steady strike. I'm wondering if these aren't the the magic. That they were talking about. I'm not sure. But that seems right. I guess I'll, I'll, I'll train it up and see if the uh, damage of the bleed attack increases. That should tell me. So now it's up to four, where it was three. But what is the damage of the bleed attack now? Bleeding four. Alright, I'll give it one more shot. Get it up to five. Now what? Bleeding four. Okay. I have no idea. Ooh, unfair exchange. Pay 10% max HP, removes 10% magic max HP plus int from the opponent. That seems like a pretty cool skill. If you just do a bunch of int and then use this skill a bunch that seems pretty awesome you would essentially be able to ignore like everything you just do vitality resistance endurance and intelligence and then destroy everybody i kind of want to do that now um for now I think I'll just keep pushing this guy's strength up. Fully recovered. 
Early in the morning, when your only gladiator is warming up, you hear some pounding on an already damaged Ludus door. Before the Ludus boards start to break, you quickly open it, revealing a slim man wearing some rags, holding onto a long stick in his left hand. He looks at you, silent, as if you know what he was after. He breaks the silence awkwardly. You're, you're the new guy. I mean, master, right? I've been seeing you walking around the market lately. You've probably realized already that I'm a mighty gladiator and I'm here under my own name to accept your challenge and win my prize. You still don't get it, do you? Well, the beginner gladiators must make our name before entering the accepted, before being accepted into the market. We have to win a fight against a gladiator who is already bearing the name of Ludus. Bearing the name of a Ludus, so I figured it would be easier to do so at a fresh Ludus, like yours. And it's not just me, there's a bunch of warriors waiting to be invited here. If you're open to it, they'll all come here, and not for free. We can win our own renown, but you can actually get some good coins from this. As for me, I'll bring 50 coins in my pocket. If your men can beat me, they're all yours. But I have no intention to lose, so let's get to it. Sure. All right. Uh, I think I wait. Cause he has a long range weapon. Yeah. Yeah, that was a mistake right there. Okay. All right, so clear cut, attack, attack, and then I'll do mantra, It's gonna be a close fight. I think I've got it. Yeah, I've got clear cut right here. Yep, there it is. And I get 50 coins. After a couple minutes of fighting, your gladiator manages to lay the man flat on the ground. It's clear victory. The man rises with a disappointed face. Crap, I thought I had it easy. Guess I underest un uh, Guess I underestimated you guys. Fine, rules are rules. Here's your gold. But don't look happy. I assure you I'll be back and win it someday. The man leaves, looking at the ground, thinking about all the ways he could have bested your gladiator. He received 50 gold. You unlocked the home challenge. I think I like this game. I think I, I want to continue to play it. Um, it's pretty simple and straightforward, and I do wish... Uh, let me check real quick to see if there are settings. Yeah, so I, I'd like some, some hotkeys, and it's possible that I just don't know them, right? Um, but uh, having a key to go next day would, I think, make, make this a little smoother. Uh, but so far, I really enjoy it. Alright, friends, I'm out of coffee, so I'm gonna end here. If you like the video, hit the like button, and consider subscribing. Leave a comment below, and let me know what you're thinking. Thanks for watching. See you next time.